Time to kick off on the Classic Series, starting in Bronze League. Shall I use the Janetta G60 for fun, because we all just got that in the car hunts? I'd normally just start with the Lotus. I'm going to get KDE if I don't shot away. Oh, should have got a barrel roll then. That was not, I want to say fair, but the guy behind me. So I can't break too much, but I'm slowing down to get a shockwave over this guy. If he doesn't use a shockwave now, I can get past him. Be too late for this guy. Yeah. The Lotus Elise one. I've just got into Silver League on the Classic MP tournament. So just looking at what car's best to use in silver. The Aaron Errors was really good in Unbreakable and Slipstream. The F40 is our new high ranking car that a lot of us got for free in a car hunt. But I still get drawn to my Artega because it's got good acceleration at the start of a race and I just feel capable of holding position with it. We've got H2 speeds, Vipers and Artegas. I should do a lap in an H2 speed. Because they are good cars, I just don't use them very much. We were still ghosting because our cars were so in such close contact. It gave me the opportunity to go through the corner like that. I'm not sure what the top speed of this car is. I can't remember. 329. Okay. It's useful to know. And managing Nitro. See the two Artegas, then the three H2 speeds, then the Vipers, then the Janetta. Perfect order of their capabilities. The only thing out of place is the rank of the Vipers of the other way round. Cool. I 
the beginning there, I'm just trying to avoid the parked cars. But if you hit the wall in the shockwave, it doesn't turn off, it doesn't matter. It's quite a useful way to get around a corner. I wanted that bottle, so I put an extra drift in there just to make sure I had enough nitro over all that rough section. Most people don't like going over the rough section, I quite like it. You've got blue nitro over a rough section, it doesn't it doesn't cause any problem. Where's everyone gone? I should do a race in another car just to see how I get on. So the H2. I think I'll get beaten by our takers. It's only one R taker. Three NSXs. Let's see. to the barrel roll because I'm safer out of the way of the traffic and I always do the shockwave through both those barrel rolls or through the second barrel roll so the way other people drive normally means they don't shockwave over that barrel roll so you can catch them up I should have spun there I was talking too much if I'd spun there I'd have shockwave here and the guy behind me might have done better that guy screwed up his bend his jump. Get around him. No. Close though. Time to try the NSX. Yeah, I like, I like the Artega because it is the best car, but if I use another one, there aren't as many Artegas to compete against anyway. So you can do well in, a, in an NSX and in an H2. Need to get some boost nitro for the ramp. Need more for the second ramp and then I get forward. worried about getting knocked down as I am right now. Yeah. I had an opportunity to spin then. I'll take a
the Ortega can normally get ahead quite quickly at the beginning by boosts like that. Getting ahead while the cars are still ghosting is quite a good technique in all multiplayers. I'm waiting for him to shock me first so I can catch up with him like that. He got annoyed and left. I like tokens. Don't like target blueprints. If I try the H2 speed, just as a demo lap, I'll probably get beaten by an Ortega. So two Ortegas, an error, an error, someone in a Ford Shelby. Out of choice I would, wouldn't pick this car, but if I didn't have the others I would. Holding drift when people are bashing into me. One chance here. Can't catch up though. All the other guy went a longer route though, gives a chance. <laughs> I knew I couldn't overtake him, but if his shockwave deactivated, I could have taken him out and got second place. And there was no one behind me. I've been playing with the Ortega, but now I'm going to do a test run in the NSX. Missed the shockwave, put me at risk. If I waited one more sec, one more tenth of a second, maybe I could have got the shockwave and maybe I would have got knocked down.
decent enough car, but I, I just feel it's a struggle to drive and to succeed in. The H2 is much more forgiving. I'll try another lap with it while I've still got fuel and my R take is out of fuel. I'm not sure how it's going to do on this track. Oh, I'm in gold league. 